another travel trip to Accra. So traveling during COVID has been somewhat an experience and um, I'm going to Accra. Um, yeah, of course security. So we're just gonna go through security now and then uh, I will sit and have a proper talk with you guys, honestly. This has been a good experience. Shout out to KLM because they were really nice, like with my luggage and stuff. So I rate them. I think I'm slowly coming back to the idea of flying with KLM again. Here we go. Amsterdam phase one done. Um, the flight wasn't really full, to be fair. It was a bit. It wasn't busy. Um, airport's not busy either. Everyone's social distancing, I guess. And um, yeah, bumped into a few friends on the flight. So yeah, here goes. I got so basically there is a hand sanitizing service station here for you to wash your hands, and it says save sanitizing services for your passport phone. Okay, using UV light. Okay, maybe I should try it. Oh, okay. Well, obviously not working as usual. This is Europe. Nothing ever works. Oh, you get hand cream as well. That's brilliant. Oh, you get to put your little back there. Do all that. I love it. Loving this. Loving it. Loving it. So basically, I'm just sat here waiting for my next flight. And this is one of the reasons why I don't really like doing transit flight. Because you just sit here and it's kind of pointless. Because that's three hours I could have been somewhere by now. Do you know? Or been in my bed. Um, so, so far, my impression of this trip, this Ghana trip. Because obviously, I've been on holiday during COVID. So, it's not as if it's a brand new trip. But, um... So when we got to the airport, the first thing they did was ask for your COVID um, testing thing, if you've got it. And then luckily, obviously, I had it on my phone. If you can print it, please print it out because, um, to be fair, they didn't give me hassle, but um, people are saying they were going to give me hassle when I get to Ghana, so I'm yet to see. Um, so I've got that. Then they asked if you had the passenger locator form. Please, please, please fill that in because it's very important. If you don't fill it in, they're not going to let you on. And then um, I never think that they asked, was do you have any symptoms? Blah, blah, blah. I was like, no, nothing. Got on the flight. At the airport, we ask you kindly to keep one and a half meters of distance and to wear a face mask. Thank you for that okay so the whole face mask thing is so important in amsterdam airport you have to have it in birmingham airport as well they check which is really good but it does eventually hurt your ear so i've had to take a little break from it but as you can see i'm all by myself like i have no one here so i'm keeping people safe um next flight is at three o'clock uh klm flight and um i think i'm gonna conk out on that flight i will let you guys know what the procedure is or what it's looking like as well when i got on that one but the trip from birmingham international airport to amsterdam Schiphol was fine it was fine i had everything so it's fine let's see the trip to ghana one is normally where problems start and where i lose my patience so yes i'll keep you guys updated oh. this is another yeah another stage so we get given um some antibacterial towel Also, some yeah. So, COVID is turned this to yeah. We're officially free hours like behind schedule. I am too tired to even like talk. I just want food. <laughs> I really just want to eat. Social distancing at its best, which is good to see. I can see hand sanitizers everywhere as well. We're doing great. So many corridors, oh my god, that you go through, and so many little little stations. <laughs> I'm tired, people. I'm actually, genuinely tired. But it's so cool. Like honestly, the fact that Ghana's been able to do that, and the UK hasn't really got 
Anything like this, I actually do rate the government of Ghana for this. This is really cool. People, so cool. Let's do okay, let's do it. What should I do? Yeah, I need your passport. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Okay, so shut up my mask off. Oh, God, Jesus. Just your head up there. Oh, Lord. This is, oh, I don't like stuff going up my nostrils. Okay, let's do it. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Forever ready. Oh. Relax the that's so comfortable. It's very really comfortable. Sorry. Is it done? Yes, yeah, done. Oh my god, that is so comfortable. Bruh. It's like there's a spider in your nose. <laughs> oh my god. It's, oh, it's horrible. But I need to go. You're not going again, are you? No, no, no. You're not coming down. Now to immigration. It was the switch process though, I'm not gonna lie. To be fair, it's not that bad. Actually, uh, that's next. Oh my God, I can still feel shit in my nose, man. What the hell? Oh, I feel like I've just been, there's hand sanitizers everywhere. This is good. I need to pee though. Okay, I think I'm just gonna go pee first. Cause I'm about to pee myself. Oh, suitcases collected. Everything. Look at, the, look at the state of my suitcase, people. It was actually pink. Look at what they've done. KLM, I've got no words for you. I'm just going to go get my, um, my COVID testing now. My test results. Hopefully it's here. And I can go home. I am tired. But to be honest, it was a quick process. I'm not even going to lie. I don't know. Maybe it's because of the time of night that we got here. But it was pretty quick. Really, really quick. Tops 20 minutes. Okay. But this is the key where you come and you get your COVID test results mm -hmm. and you queue up there, see everyone's waiting for it and if you are negative, which we all hope to be, then you can be out on your way. Go through customs and then you're out. But yeah, this is it. It's been a seamless um, journey, seamless, not journey, seamless process at Kotoka ratings honestly ratings what up gang what up gang so i've had a lot of questions about the whole um trip to accra thing what you should know what you shouldn't um what you shouldn't do so i'm gonna go through some questions for you guys so if you're coming to ghana then you have an idea on what to do um so yeah first things first if you don't um have a visa you can get a visa on arrival but what you need to do is you need to either have somebody in ghana that will file it for you or you need to find an agent that will file it for you the latter is very expensive. It was $250, which is an equivalent of £200. That was the option that I used this time because the Ghana High Commission um, wasn't um, open in London. So I had to get someone here to do it for me. So yeah, that one is that. Secondly, you need to do your COVID testing. You have to have 72 hours before you actually fly, before you actually get into the country. So what that means is if you're leaving on Saturday, your COVID test has to be from Thursday to cover you through to Saturday morning. If you are going from London to Amsterdam through to Ghana, you would have to show the test at every given point. So you'd have to show it at Heathrow and at um, Amsterdam Schiphol. And then when you get to Ghana as well, you'd have to show it. So you'd have to have it on you. So the, as I mentioned, the visa fee is $200, $250. And um, yeah, the now, the COVID testing in London depends on where you go. Um, but um, I've been told it ranges from £100 to £195. Um, I did mine via a, a different um, agent. Some airlines do actually provide it, I've been told. So I think you should check when you're booking your airline. So that's that done. So that's the first COVID test done in the UK or in the country of your origin. And you have to fill in your passenger locator form that can be found online what i'll do is i'll put the link in the description box that can be found online you have to fill that in if you don't fill that in and you get to your transit destination they will make you fill it in which means you're going to be stood in the queue for a very long time bearing in mind that normally um we had to leave amsterdam at 3 25 the queue there was horrendous because everyone has to do their forms so once you've done your passenger locator form then you would have to do your health declaration form those things are not the same so your health declaration form it will ask you to be fair i didn't do mine i when i got to the airport 
in skip hole they did my temperature and then it made me feel a full main so what you have to do is you have to do that so so far what have i talked about i've talked about your covid testing in your country of origin your visa on arrival if you don't have a Ghanaian passport and you haven't been able to secure a visa um your passenger location locator form which is very very important and also um your health declaration form so those are four things even before you actually board and then the covid testing for ghana okay so please 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 do not leave it till you get to ghana before you actually pay for the covid testing thing the reason being that people are getting into the country and pretending like they don't have money so they're becoming a little bit strict now so as i mentioned the covid testing thing you can do online i'll put the um the link in the description box as well for you for ghana and that you can actually pay your covid testing thing online if you don't want to pay here or if you don't want to hassle because they will hassle you so it's best to actually pay online um on that website it's 150 dollars pay online because it is cheaper because in ghana they will make you pay 120 dollars um if you're british but it's actually 115 i know it's just a fiver but five is a lot of money for a lot of people so if you pay online it's either 115 or 112 if you pay online so do that before you get here they'll give you a paper and then you'd get a receipt so you have the um confirmation thing online in your email you keep it then you board you get to kotoka and then i know there was rumors people were saying that oh you couldn't get down and blah 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 and you had to be row by row that's not so, it. everyone basically tell people to sit down and wait for the first row to get down nobody actually does that so the whole plane gets down so it doesn't really matter where you're sitting i know people were like oh change your seat blah 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 it doesn't really matter where you're sitting to be fair i was actually sat in what you'd call premium economy that's what you'd call it so i came out first but i don't really think that it took that long to be honest so you come through and then you join a queue you do your temperature there's hand sanitizers everywhere as you've seen in the video and then um you go and you get your testing thing done when you get your testing thing done if you're negative um, at this point you wouldn't know so you go through through migration whichever way you'd go through to get your bags and then you'd get your results at the end boot so which is a little bit weird because at this point i feel like if you went positive you wouldn't know whether you're going to get quarantine or not until you get your bags before you get your result which doesn't make sense because they should put us in a place and wait for the result before we actually once you get your result if you're negative you're out of the door if you're positive i know where they're taking you because i wasn't positive and um, but you get like a little receipt oh i forgot something so do you know when you pay your covid testing online you would get when you get here there's a first bank first something something bank i'll show you guys i'll insert the receipt um in there and then what they'll do is they'll take the authorization code and give you an actual receipt and it's the receipt that you show you to the covid people that are doing the test and then they know that you've paid and then they'll do the test for you so yeah you definitely get a receipt and then also when you get a negative result you'd get like a little slip may don't look for a big thing it's just a tiny little slip i'll see if i can find mine and i'll insert it and that's it that's literally the whole journey my journey i know people had a really long um session but mine didn't really take that long to be fair my journey i would say from top to bottom was about an hour tops and i think maybe it was because we arrived very late we got the um we got there pretty late because normally caleb's supposed to land at seven o'clock and then we landed at nearly one o'clock so yes um that could have been a factor so i'm talking experience from night time so maybe people are talking about stuff that happened during the day but i think the process is exactly the same so yeah i think that's everything you kind of really needed to know about the whole um ghana trip thing because yeah it's it's not easy the covid testing thing is a little bit uncomfortable some people were fine with it but i personally would describe it as a razor blade scratching your nose and um yeah so that was that but it was quick it was less than five minutes i would say they didn't really just about with it it was mm -mm, and then it's out but the journey to ghana is seamless i definitely would rate the ghanaian government for doing that the current president for doing that because it was bam 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 it was it was a structure so you kind of know where you're going 
the downside is, is a little bit expensive because if you can't afford it, because bear in mind you're paying for a ticket, you're paying for a COVID testing in London, paying for a COVID testing when you get here and a visa on arrival if you haven't got a Ghanaian passport. So it can be a bit of a expensive um, journey for a lot of people. Yeah, if you really want to come to Ghana, please do come to Ghana. Ghana is safe. I've been out and about in Accra. They're very protective. You have to wear a mask everywhere you go um, to certain places, not to restaurants. There's hand sanitizers. Me, I had to do hand sanitizers about four times in a day. Even I was getting tired. So if you're thinking of coming to Accra, do come. Do come and visit. Just make sure that you're negative. You've done your test. Make sure you've done all the stuff that I have advised you to do. And come and have a lovely time because the weather is not great, by the way. It's raining. It probably will be better if people are coming in October. But if you're coming in, um, it will be better if you came in november november but if you are coming in october right boy it's raining it's raining now it's actually raining now so if you've got stuff to do in accra do come come and enjoy come and join the ghana crew but yeah i have an actual ghanaian vlog coming through so keep an eye out for that and i will tell you all about my journey with klm hmm you really want to know that so yes um i think i've covered everything if that you need to know then please hit me up on my socials or just drop me a comment in the description in the comment section description box in the comment section and i will definitely answer every question or if i do not know we'll probably find out for you before you get here but yeah do come to ghana if you want it but yes until the actual ghanaian vlog is out do stay safe, do, do wash your hands, wear your mask, do everything that the government is telling you to do because I certainly am and I'm keeping safe. But yeah, until then, I love you and see you soon. God bless. Take care. And don't forget to subscribe. Mwah. Mwah, mwah, mwah.